It is apparent to this court in reviewing the evidence that Mr. Roy was struggling with his issues and seeing a way to address them and took significant actions of his own toward that end. His research was extensive. He spoke of it continually. He secured the generator. He secured the water pump. He researched how to fix the generator. He takes himself out of the toxic environment that it has become. She instructs Mr. Roy to get back into the truck, well knowing of all of the feelings that he has exchanged with her, his ambiguities, his fears, his concerns. This court finds that instructing Mr. Roy to get back in the truck constituted willful and I'm sorry, wanton and reckless conduct by Ms. Carter, creating a situation where there is a high degree of likelihood that substantial harm would result to Mr. Roy. Ms. Carter, please stand. This court, having reviewed the evidence and applied the law thereto, now finds you guilty on the indictment charging you with the involuntary manslaughter of the person Conrad Roy III. This court further finds that the Commonwealth has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that you are a youthful offender and you are a judge show at this time. You may be seated. That verdict is now recorded and it is in writing as well. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank, you, Thank, you, Thank, you, Thank you very much. All right. Here's that last exhibit.